Chicago. Time to start cleaning up our balconies and stuff. We're gonna be doing yard work today. Um, I have a lot of yard work to do in the front lawn and then I'm gonna try to make some keto snack later on so stay tuned. This is what we are cleaning up today. Just snuck in to take a little break. Um, Alex is like, don't abandon me now. But um, I feel like when I first started gardening, I had little to no stanima. Stanima? Sounds weird. But I have more now, but it's still pretty low. So I have a clip of me gardening while I was bigger and you can see me there. At least now I can bend over. I'm proud that I lost 62 pounds, but I know I have a long way to go. So I'm gonna get some water and then slowly go back out there. So maybe he'll be done by the time I go back out there, hopefully, but. So we're done with doing the work on the front bed. We raked, let me show you. So we cut down all of our perennial grasses that we normally have to take care of every spring. We fertilized and watered that in. For a snack, I think I'm gonna be trying to make these Malaysian banana balls that um, I'm really excited about. So this is the recipe that I will be trying to ketify today. It's called Jumput Jumput or banana balls. It's a Malaysian inspired recipe and normally it takes two bananas, um, all purpose flour, sugar. So I'm going to be trying to test my recipe out and hopefully it turns out and I can do a video on it. So good thing I tried the recipe out. Um, it wasn't frying up the way that I like in the pan. So I'm gonna have to edit it before I release it to you guys, but I have it um, cooking now. So hopefully these test tries will equate to something delicious. I wanted to show you the light that my husband installed. Um, before I had this like really yellow light, um, which kind of made it weird to film in. And um, I'm glad that he was able to install this light because now I feel like it's gonna be better. Um, it's gonna be a nicer light for filming videos in the future. So um, yeah, thanks for coming along with me today, just gardening and trying out keto recipes. Um, so as you may or may not know, Emily and I um, often do a dirty, lazy keto um, diet. And Stephanie Laska, the author of this book, sent us a copy um, of this book to review and to read. So um, we're really excited to get this unpublished book and um, sit down and read it. Um, this is like a great resource for those that are trying to start off a keto diet. Um, Emily and I both feel like um, this version of keto is the most sustainable out of all ketos out there. And if you are new to the keto life, then you might be confused. Um, so I'm excited to read this book so I can have more information to share um, with you guys. And yeah, this book is gonna come out, I believe later in May, but this is just like um, a review copy for us to read. So that's exciting. So it's Easter Sunday, so happy Easter to everybody. Um, yesterday you saw me trying to make banana balls, which didn't turn out, unfortunately. Um, the consistency was kind of weird um, when I fried them in the oil and I'm not sure I might need to add some sort of thickener. So we're gonna put that recipe on hold and I'm actually gonna be making keto banana nut muffins um, with the leftover bananas that I have um, left over here. Um, I really do miss bananas. That's one of the fruits that I used to enjoy eating when I was not living a keto life. So this is a good way to incorporate banana flavor without um, going over on the carb count. Um, and then I can have them for breakfast maybe this week because um, I usually do eat one meal a day, but I find myself um, actually eating way more 
now that I am home and working remotely. So let me turn on the light. So I'm gonna quickly go over all of the ingredients that you're gonna need in order to make these keto banana nut muffins. And um, if you want the full recipe, ingredients, you know, bake time, all that sort of things, you can go on to theketotwins.com and find the full recipe there. But to save time, I'm just gonna go over it really quickly. Um, you're gonna need two cups of almond flour. This is the brand that I use, and we'll link these products in the description below. Um, this one's Nature's Eats. Um, monk fruit sweetener, but you can use any sweetener that you have on hand salt, baking powder, walnuts, one egg, which I've already cracked into this bowl, um, and a ripe banana. This is a ripe banana. Um, just like with when you're making a banana bread, you want a ripe banana because that's what you do. I don't know the reason why, but as they become brown, I guess they just become more banana-y, if you will. So. You know, I bought these like last week and um, it took about a week for them to ripen to the right consistency, I don't know, ripening stage. Um, so yeah, you want your banana to be pretty brown. And the secret ingredient in this recipe is this pure banana extract that I bought off of Amazon. And I'm a true believer in buying extracts because, you know, when you're on keto, there's only a certain amount of things that you can eat, especially in the dessert realm. So like, Buying extracts is a way to cheat the system, if you will. Um, Emily and I follow a dirty, lazy keto lifestyle, so we do incorporate like some artificial flavors and things like that into our diet because you know we're on it for the long haul and we feel like we can add those sorts of things in because we are like not eating sugar. Um, so yeah, this is the banana extract that I bought off of Amazon. I have to use my wide angle lens right now, so hopefully it looks okay. Um, but I'll link this one in the description below. I'm also going to be adding some sour cream to the mix because yesterday when I made this recipe, the muffins were a little dry. So I'm going to try to see if I can add in a little bit of moisture with some sour cream. My husband said that they were great though. So he said to leave the recipe as is, but I'm going to be adding in some sour cream and we're going to see if that, you know, kicks it up a notch, if you will. So I'm going to get to mixing all of my wet ingredients together and I'll mix them with my dry and then we'll see what it looks like. All right, so in this bowl, I have the banana extract, the mashed banana, the egg, um, two tablespoons of sour cream, and I'm just mixing that to combine it. Let's see here. All right, so in this bowl, I have all of my dry ingredients. I have salt, walnuts, uh, cinnamon, baking powder, and almond flour, and this is the golden um, monk fruit sweetener. That's just what I have on hand right now because Home Goods is closed. Sad face, cry face. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be mixing up these dry ingredients to incorporate them and I'm gonna be adding in my wet ingredients. So I'm gonna be preheating my oven to 325. And you want to be careful because um, almonds do not taste good when they're burnt. So yesterday I left it in for, I don't know, 35 minutes. And um, my husband said he liked that. But I just felt like the almonds were kind of like brown and had this like almost like burnt flavor. So I feel like going lower on the temperature and cooking it for longer will mean that it won't brown as fast. Um, you don't want your almonds to be over cooked because they taste different. So just keep that in mind. You have to keep an eye on them. So I'm going to try them out at 325 and see how they do. All right. So here are my muffins. I tried to distribute it um, pretty evenly. I'm just going in and smashing it down. These are going to rise a little bit, so that's okay. Don't focus on perfection. I just want to get it done. So it's all right if some are bigger than the others, but you just want generally the same size so that they cook evenly. All right, so these are gonna go in the oven. If I can do this one-handed without burning myself, that would be great. And I'm gonna put them in there for about 30 minutes to start off, and I'm gonna check them often. So, 30, come on now, okay. 
All right, so my muffins are in the oven. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then I'm gonna brew some coffee because coffee is like the best thing to go, that goes with this. Like coffee goes with everything. Coffee is life, um, well to me at least. And um, so yeah, we're gonna wait 30 minutes. I'm gonna check on them and I'll give you a status update. I'm gonna make some coffee and I'm gonna read that book that I was talking about. I grab it. Dirty Lazy Keto. Here are the muffins. I pulled them out of the oven. I put them in there for about 35 minutes on 325. And yeah, my husband wants one, so I'm gonna plate one up and give it to him. So if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Sarah, I'm part of the Keto Twins. We have lost over 160 pounds following a ketogenic lifestyle. And on our channel, we talk about all things keto, so please subscribe. If you wanna see us 160 pounds heavier, click on this video and you can see our journey thus far. I'm Sarah from the Keto Twins, and have a great Easter.